All right, so welcome to my home. Um, I will be reviewing the Blue Land um, glass and mirror bathroom and multi-surface cleaners. So I already used the glass and mirror. This is a hit. Um, this will leave a streak-free shine um, and no marks. Um, I'm very pleased with this product. The bathroom, I would say, I would highly recommend that the company probably reformulates. It's basically just a tiny bit of soap and water. It didn't do too much for me. It's a good wipe down cleaner. Uh, the multi-surface I'm very pleased with. Um, this was able to take off some grime around the countertop. Um, and I also was comparing this next to Clinkle. I have not been very pleased with this product line. Um, first is logistics with shipping. I mean, there's uh, numerous cons. I think other um, bloggers have, have stated things. Uh, the other thing about this is the scent is too overpowerful. It's overpowerful. Um, sneeze the whole time. I think they could probably dilute the formula and maybe do probably a better job with the product. Um, I did not buy their um, their reusable bottles because I was just using this as a sample. I just wanted to get a sample first. So, yeah, um, what I can say about Clean Colt, I will not be purchasing this. Uh, I think one of the issues that they may have is it uses essential oil. It's too oily, it leaves a film on every piece of um, material that I clean. Um, I also got the sample of their Clean Colt laundry detergent. The thing I'm not pleased about this as well is it says it's fragrance free. However, uh, they do place essential oils. And not only that, there's an actual scent. It smells like a lemon. It smells like uh, very lemony. Um, and it's not hypoallergenic. So I have been using Method for the longest time. Um, and this is a hypoallergenic formula. It, it cleans in cold water um, on all type of temperature. The thing about the method is it doesn't have any fragrance. So the cool thing is, if you don't know, fragrance is a little loophole that these manufacturing and cleaning companies can put in. They basically can put whatever type of chemical they want in a product. Um, and sometimes they won't even do any oversight on it until people start complaining of burns, allergic reactions, and then they start to place all these terms and conditions on it. Um, but yeah, and that's why I haven't been pleased with Method, um, with their dish soap as well, because they do put fragrance. Fragrance is a loophole, a cosmetic industry loophole that they use. It's in all other products. They could secretly put formaldehyde in the product for all we know. Um, and so that's why I've been looking for a company, sort of like Blue Land, Clean Colt. Clean Colt is not for me. It might be for you, but it's not for me. Uh, and I've been very pleased. It does clean well. Let me give you a short demonstration here. Uh, there's no really good way to gauge um, how much powder to place. So I just sprinkle a tiny bit. Um, and keep in mind, it's not the suds that clean, it's actually the enzyme of the soap. Yeah, clean. So yeah. And... Let's check this out here. So yeah, very clean, I would say, sparkly. And so at any rate, yeah, I would highly recommend it. Um, I don't think that I would be long-term using this sustainably, only because it's uh, the powder. I did not like the powder, the micro powder. Um, there's like this micro mist powder that floats up when you dispense it in, in the dispenser, when you place it in the dispenser. And I don't know if it's carcinogen. So I had to actually open my window um, and turn on my oven hood vent for that because I was sneezing and I'm really cautious of, of things like that because one time a long time ago um, bare minerals had this kind of issue people were complaining that the the powder the fine powder was getting in the lungs so that might be an issue for this so I'm still trying to find a dish soap that's eco-friendly I did find this company here Sun and Earth um, 
and they've been around since uh, the 1980s um, and this is not owned by one of the big giant companies um, so yeah it's made in USA hypoallergenic no phosphates no allergen or dye so yeah 1988 is when they started so I do recommend this product over method when it comes to dish soap um, but when it comes to reviewing all of these eco-friendly 